In this video, we're going to look at five different AI voice generators that you can use to create online content in 2023. No matter which kind of content it is you want to create, maybe it's e-learning, maybe it's uh, audiobooks or uh, content for YouTube or social media, no matter what it is, there will be some of these tools that are really helpful in terms of creating realistic sounding voices to put on top of your content. So let's jump into it and look at the first example. The first example we're going to look at here today is Resemble.ai. Resemble.ai makes it very easy to create human-like sounding voices. Hi, this is Deanna with Resemble, following up on a request you made on our website. So I've got three examples here to test out. Um, this is a trial account, and they have three different options to test. These are community uh, marketplace voices that we can try out. So I've got some dummy description here. You'll notice that the styles and language, we can't really change those at the time being um, on the demo account. Hey there, we're glad to have you join us on this short demonstration today. We set up a few voices, like mine, which you might like for personal use. So overall, the quality is okay. You can see the words per minute, um, how many characters, and there's options to download that audio file. There are some additional options on the side for audio settings. You can change the speaker. You can change the format of the output. So this is WAV format by default. But overall, from what I've seen so far, I think there are better options out there. The next website we're going to look at is murph.ai. And I was really blown away by how good the audio quality is of these voices. If you have a look here at the homepage, they've got a sample for all of these different categories. So you've got marketer, you've got author, podcasters, etc. And the quality of the voice files that we get to demonstrate is this really, really high. Um, so I think that this could be probably one of the best tools at the moment. Ever wondered why is it that the food that's nutritious never seems to taste as good? Well, that's about to change. Introducing the new Better Make Veggie Crisps. Our healthy veggie crisps are made with a wholesome blend of high quality rice and fresh vegetables. Here's the catch. Like the plague that swept across the north, wherever the modern man came in contact with the native people, great numbers eventually died. Several communicable diseases, such as measles and chicken pox, wiped out whole tribes and villages. But we will go through the other websites to compare each of them. Um, so this is just on the front end of the website. So overall, very nice. The quality of voice is really good. And we'll jump into the back end of the website. So we'll jump into the studio. So once you come into your dashboard, you've got this option to create uh, what type of work that you're going to do. Um, so you can pick the category, whether it's going to be for audio or video. Um, in this case, I'm going to select the video uh, column. So at the top, there's a tab there for video or audio. And then we will pick um, probably social media, I think is a good one to go with. But depending on what you want to create, you can pick the appropriate category here. So this will load up our dashboard and our test project. Um, so now you can add your own text here just to test this out. Um, there are a number of different voices that you can select. So based on gender, uh, location. So in this case, I'm going to go with the default voice and I will add some test text here. So I'll some dummy copy here just to test this out. Just click on the generate audio. And you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we have this timeline. So it allows you to build your own timeline. So that way you can have multiple audio clips. Maybe you can have some background music or some video clips. It's probably like a basic version of using like iMovie or maybe um, Final Cut Pro or something like that. So you've got this timeline feature where you can move the clips around uh, and create your own final video. So we'll click this button here at the top of the timeline. This is a quick test to try out the voice sample from Nate. This is a quick test to try out the voice sample from Nate. Now we can modify this voice. We can change the pitch. We can change the speed at which it is uh, reading back the text. But I'm going to change the voice and try it again. This is a quick test to try out the voice sample from Nate. 
So overall, it's not bad. I quite like it. Um, I will change the pitch and the speed. This is a quick test to try out the voice sample from Nate. We can also import music and images into our videos. So there is stock images and stock music that we can use. So in this case, I'm just gonna pick a stock image and add to timeline. And you'll see that that includes that image as part of the video section on this, uh, on this timeline. Now, one thing to note here is that they don't have any videos. I couldn't see any stock videos, but they have the images. So that audio will read over the top of whatever stock footage you include. So kind of interesting to create a whole video clip this way. That is Murph.ai. So make sure to check that out in the link in the video description below. For the next website we're going to look at is Lovo. Now this one's been around uh, quite a while. I was looking at this a couple of years ago, I think, um, but now they've branched out into AI a lot more. Um, so let's jump into this and test out this audio. So on the front end of the website, you can test several different voices. I'm just gonna enter a very basic text description. Hey, how are you doing today? It's a beautiful morning. Hey, how are you doing today? It's a beautiful morning. So there are a number of different categories here that you can use to create this content for. So we've got things like e-learning, marketing, explainer videos, audio books, so there are a lot of use cases for using text-to-speech. So let's have a look at the back end once you're signed in. So you've got this very simple dashboard. Um, you can just enter your text. There, let's test out AI voices on this fine day. And you also have the ability to upload text, download, or share. Now I've just got the demo account, so we've only got limited number of downloads initially. But overall, very basic service, but quite useful in a way. Um, the next website we're going to look at is Typecast. Now the voices in Typecast are really impressive. So let's test those out. The next contestant is from Delta, British Columbia. I don't know much about Delta, but back in my days, they had the only Krispy Kreme store in the province. Well. This is the most badass bird ever. Bearded vultures. You would think scavengers usually go after the meat. Wrong. These guys just want the bones to be. Welcome to the most peaceful ride of this theme park. The train will not move until everyone is. Most people ask me the same question. What if? What if what? What if you fail? I mean, I understand why they ask this. They are scared. But you need to overcome that fear. So I really like the quality of the voices here on Typecast. So one thing we do have here in this site is using this AI character, which will read back and in sync with the text that you're reading out. Um, I don't know quite how to get that working, but um, there is this multiple person uh, script going on here, which I found quite interesting with this site. So you can have a multi-way conversation and that all gets saved out as one audio file. So therefore you're simulating a full speech between multiple characters. So I thought it was very interesting that you can have this back and forth conversation that goes along. Um, they have this little character here on the left, but there is a better version of this character. So maybe we'll find out later. Okay, Cameron, calm down. Hey, I'm your host, Dan. Let's get started. I already did it. And apparently this is a safe file with all the stages clear. That can't be right. Maybe it's my sister. Did you do this? Yep. Took me like five hours. I can't use the save point for the boss fight though, so you have to beat it again. Oh, that's not good. What do we do? Of course we have to start all over again! So overall I think this is a very interesting concept, having this multi-way conversation. You can change the tone of voice here on the right of the page, so you can pick the text and then you can select a different tone of voice. Um, so in this case you can make the text sad, but this will only work for those selected words. 
K Cameron. Calm down. Hey, I'm your host, Dan. Let's get started. So overall kind of interesting. I thought this was a very unique concept. I haven't seen this in any other website, but worth checking out if that interests you. The final example of the website we're going to look at today is play.ht. And this one is very impressive in terms of the quality of voice again. An onboarding process is used to help new employees adjust to the social and performance aspects of their jobs as quickly as possible. For a successful onboarding process, consider the four C's of your organization, compliance, clarification, culture, and connection. A remarkable man in possession of limitless curiosity and intellect, Elon Musk makes a fascinating subject. He's the Steve Jobs of the present and the future. He's an important, exciting, and intelligent. They also have the ability to clone your voice, which I thought this was a really unique concept. And the quality of the sample voices that they have cloned, such as Elon Musk and Joe Rogan, are really, really fantastic. I think the quality is top notch. The great thing about play.ht is that you can clone your own voice or use existing high quality voices. It is crazy. You cannot tell if those are human voices or machine voices. Um, so you can check these out on this webpage. But the ability to clone your own voice is really useful because it means that if you want to create lots of content, but you don't want to um, have to continually speak into, into the microphone and try to create content that way, you can use a clone of your own voice in order to actually create additional content. And that way the content still feels authentic. So it's actually you creating the content with your own voice. So a really cool concept to try and use your own voice in terms of creating your own content. So that's about it for this video. If any of these websites that we've looked at today seem useful to you, you can check out the links in the video description below. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.